Hi everyone, uh, this is a recording for Yoga Nidra, uh, second video, uh, and if you have a ch uh, had a chance to check out my first video, this is uh, going to be a half an hour uh, leading session uh, for those who would like to find some little bit of a quiet time in the middle of their day, uh, finding the time when they need to just simply exhale and then relax and then get into a more grounded state. Also, this uh, could be uh, a video where you can, uh, or recording where you can listen to it while you're trying to fall asleep at night. So it's a really nice and quiet, uh, paced experience for you to start breathing deeper, get yourself into a much more grounded state, and perhaps fall asleep. Enjoy. All right. Here we are getting ready to settle into your body. You're observing your body resting, settles in this room, laying on this mat, being propped by the bolster and the blanket. For those who are gonna be at home listening to this recording, observing where you are, the surface that you're laying on, and that relationship between the body and the surface. We're becoming aware of your sensations, your body sensations that it's resting here. You're noticing any physical sensations? How your back is doing today? Any sensation in your muscles, in your joints? You're observing your breathing, the rise and fall, the ongoing flow of your breath. You're noticing the quality, length, and the depth of each inhale and exhale. And then, as you're getting into a little bit more of that settled state, we're gonna proceed and go a little bit deeper as we're guiding your mind through uh, very specific exercises. You're staying on track of your breathing. But now we're gonna guide the breath and go just a little bit deeper. Means that when you're inhaling, you're taking your time to inhale and you're starting noticing that full of breath that creates more room in your chest and your lungs. And when you're exhaling, it's also nice and sweet, extended, long exhale. Noticing rise, fuller inhale, and then elongated and peaceful exhale. Also noticing a little bit more extended pauses between inhale and exhale, between exhale and inhale. Inhale, pause, exhale, pause, and the circle continues. So you're breathing deeper, but it's comfortable deeper breath. The moment it starts feeling like you're overdoing it, please back off and then maybe start by regular, by default breath. Only feels comfortable in your resting experience here. Now, decide how many counts it takes you to inhale based on how fast or how slow you're counting. For example, it takes you three counts. Example, see for yourself how many counts it takes. We're gonna pause before you exhale with the next round on the same amount of counts. 
So it's going to be inhale, let's say three counts. Then you're going to hold the breath as long as it's comfortable for the same amount. And then you're letting a long exhale out. Inhale. Then that pause. And then exhale out. Keep going a few rounds like this. This is our triangle breath work. Very effective, calming experience for your nervous system. Few more breath. And only if you are getting into the idea of this breath and then and eventually with some time it becomes like your second nature stay with it as we're proceeding with the next step if you might need a little bit of a break and you need a little bit of just back off kind of a moment then go by default default breath Now we're gonna add a little bit of a quality to your inhale. Visualizing that with each inhale now, you're bringing more healing energy into your body. It might look like a golden light, the energy that maybe has some sparkle or shimmers in it. And then visualizing how it's starting entering deeper into your body with each inhale. Each inhale, the energy flows further down along the back, deeper into your front body, into your internal body. It's starting reaching your legs, your arms, starting spreading through your facial muscles, sides, top of the head, back of the head. It's finally reaching your feet all the way to the tips of your toes and gradually merges into your fingertips of your hands. And then that relaxing healing wave moves upward on each inhale, cleansing and unfolding and liberating process happens with it. The wave moves upward from the front body. The wave moves on the inhale from the back body, from the heels, backs of the legs, back body, back of the head. The way flows along the sides of your body and it also heals your internal body as well. Cleansing and unfolding for your muscles, for your joints and your internal working uh, organs. Continue picturing how pleasant and relaxing this flow is. Every part of your body is responding, feeling softer, warmer, pleasantly heavy. Yes, a few more rounds. We are going to be proceeding with our main meditation here. So the breathing exercise and that visual that we've created within our body with the healing energy was as kind of a setup for your 
nervous system to respond, to go deeper within. Let's touch base with our energy centers today. The main energy line that runs through the spine, so-called Sushumna energy center. So it is the silver cord that runs through your spine that carries a lot of energy, healing energy, vitality into your body. Along that energy line, we have seven energy centers located, seven chakras. I'm going to touch base with each center and then we'll connect with the healing effect that each center brings. We're starting with the root center. It's located at the base of your spine, the area of your pelvic floor, and then this is our connection to the health of our legs and your feet. Visualizing beautiful red color, the energy of the red color spreading now through your legs. This healing red energy heals all the muscles and the joints in the legs, all the bones and all the connective tissues in your legs and feet. We are going to start feeling the sense of groundedness and rootedness. I am grounded and relaxed. I feel safe and secure right here, right now in my body. I receive a lot of healing energy from the earth. and release any fear and insecurity that my body carries. Continue picturing this vibrant, beautiful, red like rubies energy traveling through your legs and feet. Along our silver cord, we're traveling upward. Now we're going to be tapping in to our second chakra. And then this is the area where we're connecting to our pelvis, to our lower back, lumbar spine, lower belly, as we're connecting to our reproductive organs. The color of the second chakra is orange. The element is water, so you're visualizing that fluidity in your pelvis as this healing energy that carries orange color spreading through your lower torso. This is our center of a lot of emotions that our body is storing. Center of our joy. Center of our happiness, center of our balance and harmony in life, a lot of creativity the center generates for ourselves, center of sexuality and sensuality. I am an emotional being. feel my emotions and feel them 100% feeling them and experiencing them and allowing them to express in any forms the way how they want to come out. Yeah. 
Continue moving along your back, along the spine, and visualizing the energy flowing upward and posits itself in your third center, solar plexus center. We're connecting to a beautiful healing yellow energy right now. As we are connecting to mid back and mid spine, we're connecting to your upper belly muscles, solar plexus, connecting to your digestive system within, and connecting to a breathable muscle diaphragm. Feel the rise and fall of your upper belly and feel the heat that comes from that yellow center. The element of the center is the sun. So you want to feel the center radiating its rays like a sun outward. Warms up the mid torso, mid back. This is our center of ego and self-esteem. We're working in here with confidence, with your own power, your own physical strength and stamina. Spending some time here connecting to the center. I am a strong and confident being. I am powerful and I am healthy, physically healthy. I feel a lot of energy in my body. Moving upward along the spine as we are connecting now to our heart center. Green energy spreading now through your upper torso, through your upper back, the space between the shoulder blades, connecting to our lungs, connecting to our rib cage, our heart. Connecting to the health of our shoulders, arms, elbows, wrists, hands. This is our center of loving kindness. Unconditional love, compassion, gratitude, and forgiveness. I love myself and I love others. I respect myself and I respect others. I forgive myself and forgive others. This is our time to start opening your heart, visualizing this beautiful green energy heals every cell and every tissue in your upper body in your arms and your hands. Amen. We are proceeding moving upward along your solar cord, along your spine, as we connect into our fifth chakra, our center of our communication, our center of the speech. We are connecting to a light blue energy that now is spreading through the little muscles of your neck. We are connecting to our throat and the lower part of your head, so it's a health of our mouth, our tongue, our teeth. Here we are responding with a relaxed jaw, allowing it to slacken. And then continue feeling.
feeling the cleansing process from that blue energy that spreads to your neck and the lower part of your head. My speech is clear. I practice healing modality and keep the, my, my fifth chakra open by speaking my truth in the most kindest way. My words are kind and truthful. Spending a little bit more time here observing the effect with the connection to this energy. Moving along the spine, as we tap into our sixth chakra, our third eye center, I'm visualizing navy blue color spreading through the top part of your head as we connect into our sinuses, connect into your eyes, connect into your ears, our brain responding to this energy and the entire nervous system as well navy blue energy fills up the top part of your head we're tapping now to the quality and the energy of the inner guidance your wisdom center i am an intuitive being i'm making wise choices in my life by being connected to my intuition my deeper knowing and smart being. I know what's the best for me in my life by simply listening to my intuition. And the last but not least we're connecting to the center that it's physically is not located on your body. It is above the crown of the head as we are visualizing purple energy spreading around your body. This energy fills in now all the energy field of your body and covers the area of the front, back, sides, top and the bottom of your body has a strong effect on the health of your skin and your skeleton. And this is our most open and spiritual center of all. This is our gateway to connect to the energy of the cosmos, the energy of the sun, the energy of the moon and the stars. Through the seventh chakra, we're connecting to the energy of others. However it is, the relationship it is for you with so-called God, the divine energy, healing energy of the world, this is where we are, tapping in this energy through the seventh chakra. As you continue visualizing, you work with the seventh energy purple color. You, you can visualize yourself being kind of swimming in that energy, like you're taking an energetic purple healing bath. And here we are, where we are working briefly with our seven centers. 
and I will all free to go over with them again in a faster pace. So I'll be calling the location, part of the body and the color and I invite you, your mind, your awareness to go with me on this journey. Draw attention to your legs and feet, visualizing a red color spreading to your legs as you tap into your root center that is located at the base of your spine. Moving upward as we're connecting to the energy center that has a beautiful orange color that is spreading through your lower torso, connecting to your pelvis, lower back, lower belly, and internal organs within. Moving up along the spine as we're connecting to a yellow energy, mid back, mid spine, upper belly, digestive system within diaphragm. Going up along the body as we tap into the green energy that's spreading through the chest, lungs, heart, upper back, arms, hands. Throat center connects us to a light blue energy, throat, neck, mouth. Navy blue energy spreading through the top part of your head, connecting us to our sinuses, eyes, ears, brain, and nervous system. And purple energy surrounding our body fills in the entire energy field of your body. Our transition will be super slow. All that we're going to do right now is gradually start bringing awareness back into your body and external sensations of your body. It's again, you laying here on this floor, on the mat, being propped with the bolster and the blanket your body laying in this room and the body that start breathing slowly but deeper and if you're feeling the response of a little bit more fuller inhale and then a little bit more extra rise in the chest and the belly Very slow, very, very gentle, ever so gentle. With the fingers and the toes, we're going to start bringing a little bit more life to them by wiggling them. Toes, fingers. And from there, you can build up just a tiny bit more as you're moving your feet more, flexing, pointing at your ankles. And then a little bit more wrists flexing, pointing, or circulations motion. Now feel free to take arms over your head and making one big solid stretch of your entire body. Fingers pointing away from your toes, lengthening. Maybe a nice full of breath this time. And from here, bending the knees, slowly pulling them towards the belly. And gradually roll into your right side body. Come to fetal position. 
You can use your right arm like a pillow for yourself. And don't rush to come out there yet. Stay there. As you are hugging your body, sending some more love to yourself. Uh, or a transition to a seated position will be also slow and gradual. Use your left hand to press the flow away in from that side body without rocking on your back again. Push the flow away and come up to sit. Just for a moment, any seated position will do. If you're comfortable, do the cross-legged position with the straight upright spine. Close your eyes for one more moment here, noticing the fact we were getting really deep with your mind, the state of our mind, the relaxing and liberating process that we went through right now. We kept it in a much more like a very quiet zone here together. So I invite you to close quietly as well. Simply be hands to heart. From my heart to yours. Namaste.